78 outside, a little murky looking as we view the direction of the Gulf of Mexico from the studio here. You see that little bit of haze that's out there. That's fog that's trying to develop, uh, but not necessarily coming to fruition thanks to the winds being breezy enough at 16 miles per hour to keep visibility. Uh, not a problem out on the roads right now. Five miles is plenty uh, distance to be able to react to something. If you're out there, winds are out of the east about 15 miles per hour across the area. Look at the cloud coverage near the coast. Once you get to the west of 77, a lot more sunshine and that sun doing its job. 93 out in Hebronville, mid 80s in Alice. Meanwhile, the coastal locations under the cloud coverage in the mid to upper 70s here uh, late this afternoon. A severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Texas west of San Antonio. There's a cold front uh, that's slowly moving to the south. You see the difference between Amarillo and Dallas, 85 in Dallas, 50s in Amarillo. Uh, so we've got a front that's moving our direction. Another system out in the Pacific Northwest. It'll be those two that have the influence on our weather here. Uh, this week. So this front approaches but stalls out over the region tomorrow. It'll be this boundary that acts as the catalyst for at minimum isolated showers Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So we're going to keep that chance for a pop up shower in the mix here for tomorrow. Wednesday it slides a little bit farther to the north. The rain chances should also mimic that movement. Thursday, it kind of moves back to the south, so it's going to be meandering around the area. And given that outlook, we're going to have the isolated rain chances here uh, all the way through Friday. In fact, until this second system comes in from the Pacific Northwest, this one drops a cold front through here, a weak one on Friday night. Saturday, we may end up in the mid 70s under cloudy skies. And at this point, I'm going with a dry Saturday, but uh, it depends on how that front moves through. Rain totals between now and Saturday, unimpressive. If you're looking for the big, you know, bout of rain that we desperately need. This setup does not look like it's going to give it to us. Uh, again, keep in mind this is between now and Saturday, a half inch up near Victoria, a lot of the area, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch. So it's not a lot of rain, even though we have daily chances for an isolated shower right on through the middle of this week. As we work in through this evening, there may be some hints of fog out there and a stray shower. Temperatures in the mid to low 70s by tomorrow morning. Again, an isolated shower for Tuesday. Otherwise, a partly to mostly cloudy skies with highs in the middle 80s. Overnight, that stray spritz of rain possible. Mid to low 70s during the overnight hours tomorrow. Mid 80s, partly to mostly cloudy and a stray shower going to be possible. Watch out for some morning fog on the water here tomorrow. It should be patchy and I think the wind's going to be breezy enough to keep the real dense stuff from developing. Mid 80s on Wednesday, there's that stalling front in the area Wednesday to Thursday. We keep the rain chances in play, at least isolated on Thursday and Friday. There's the front actually moving through the area, bringing us in quotes cooler weather for the weekend mid 70s Saturday and Sunday Rudy nice okay Alan thanks